Hey, Veronica. What are you doing? Is that audacity? How could you? How could you? What? I'm sorry. Hey, welcome to the Pod Sound School. I'm Studio Steve. I'm an audio engineer, podcast producer, all around content creation nerd. And on our channel every week, we post videos to help you take your online content and your podcast to the next level. So in today's video, I am going to stop the misinformation and try to stop the spread that you see here on YouTube and blogging and all over the interwebs, telling people to use Audacity to edit their podcasts. Now, if you are someone who does use Audacity to edit your podcast and you've been doing it for a really long time and you're finding yourself getting offended, don't just hear me out. This is gonna be some really good information for you. And if you're somebody that is brand new to creating podcasts and you're looking for a good editing solution, avoid Audacity. There are way better solutions. And there's one really great solution that I'm gonna recommend in this video. So. Why should you not use Audacity? Well, first, let's answer why are so many people using Audacity and why is everybody telling everybody to use Audacity? And that's for the one reason that Audacity is really cool. And that is that it's free. But that's not really that good of a reason because there are other free solutions that are even better. So there are many reasons not to use Audacity to edit your podcast. But in my mind, there are two big ones and one really big one, one deal breaker. And that is that Audacity does something called destructive recording. Destructive recording means that once you save your project and then close out of Audacity and come back into it again, all of those edits that you made to your project have now become permanent. So let's say that you accidentally cut out a sentence or that you were too aggressive with where you decided to cut in or out of something, right? You cut out a breath or in the middle of a word and you didn't notice that until you were listening to your podcast later and you're like, oh no, I wanna go back and fix that. <laughs> well, too bad you were using a destructive recording editing software. And then the other reason, number two, that Audacity is a pain in the ribs is because thousands of users have reported that it is constantly crashing on them, that there are tons of workarounds that they have to do, that they're basically sitting and praying sometimes when their project is rendering. So with that, basically we're saying that it is inefficient or that it's not a good solution if you're looking for productivity and speed. Now, if you've been using Audacity for years, you've probably found all those workarounds and gotten really fast at it. But if you spent even a fraction of that time that you spent building workarounds and a workflow that works for you in Audacity toward a better DAW or audio editing solution, you would be rocket fast and chances are that your podcast would even sound better than it does in Audacity. So that's it. And despite my own personal opinion of Audacity, like when I open it up and actually edit in there to try it out, it's very clunky and I just don't think that the interface is very intuitive, uh, but all those things really come down to my taste. The two things that I mentioned, destructive recording and time wasting, those are big deal breakers. And I really want you to take the editing for your podcast very seriously. And if editing is going to stay fun, if it's gonna be something that we can stay excited and enthusiastic about episode by episode by episode by episode, then it needs to be something that is fast and efficient. So for that, there are many better solutions, but the solution that I'm gonna recommend, I think is the best all around solution for independent and professional podcasters is Reaper. And you can find out more about Reaper by going to reaper.fm. We are not affiliates of Reaper. I've tried to be, but I can't get a hold of the company, so I, I don't know how we can become affiliates. But Reaper is amazing. It's 100% customizable. It is non-destructive recording, so you can always go back and edit and find things that you may have cut out. It is completely upgradable. It comes with hundreds of really great sounding plugins right out of the box, and it's actually free. Now Reaper says that it's free for 60 days and then Reaper will ask you for a one-time $60 after that 60 day trial. But many people report never paying that $60 and they stay on what's called an evaluation license. So every time they open up Reaper it says, hey, are you ready to buy Reaper yet? And they say, nope, still evaluating. And they just do that for their whole life. 
but I think that it's worth $60, it's worth hundreds of dollars, and so I would always encourage people to pay that $60. That's part of how Reaper is able to make so many great updates. It's constantly updated. It's a very robust, great DAW. And if you wanna get started in Reaper, you can go to Reaper FM right now to download it. I also do have a free ebook that is an introduction to Reaper for podcast editors. And it just kind of goes through the basics, making sense of the interface when you first open it up, how to record, some of the basic editing functions, and some of the quick keys that you'll need to know to get working in Reaper right off the bat. And you can download that free ebook. I'll leave the description in the description box below, right where you're watching this video. So, if you are an audacity person, I am sorry if I offended you, but please take some time. Give Reaper a try. That way you can't make the, well, audacity is free and you can't get better than that excuse anymore because it is worth your time and your effort to get into a DAW solution that's going to be more efficient for you. And hey, stop spreading the lie. Help out your fellow Podski and tell them, hey, do not edit in audacity <laughs> and I will be very, very happy that you did. Thank you for tuning in on this video today. Remember to grab your free Reaper ebook that I made just for you and make sure that you subscribe to our channel. Give this video a like and check in with us each week as we post really cool videos about podcasting and content creation and all of that fun digital online stuff. Until next time, happy casting. Hey, babe. Uh, I'm making a YouTube video right now. So you're using it? No, but, uh, you want to say hi to the YouTube people? Hi, YouTube people. Say, hi. I, I interrupted Studio Steve. I interrupted Studio Steve because he takes my equipment. <laughs>